Hey guys, what is going on? Today, we are gonna put some, some LED bulbs in the Jeep. So I already have LED bulbs. I've been getting a lot of questions on what bulbs to buy. So I found these that are pretty affordable. And let me show you. Do you ever just look at your Jeep and think, damn, I really drive that. Like, that's awesome. Anyway, stay till the end of the video. We are doing a giveaway for the LED bulbs that I have installed here. I'm a really big fan, so just keep watching the video. So Four Wheel Drive King actually sent these out to me to do a review. So I'll be honest with you guys. I'll let you know how good they are and I'll show you night shots and all that. So let's go ahead and install these and they'll be linked down below if you're interested in them. So this, this is how the lights come in there and this is what they look like out of the box. So the cool thing about these is they have a fan. That's what you want to look for when you get these LED bulbs. They do get warm. You want to make sure that they have the fan. I prefer the fan over the ones that have the fins. And it also comes with two T10s, which you can use like in your license plate or something like that. But yeah, let's go ahead and install these on the Jeep. So these are easy to remove. All it is is the seven mil right here. That's it, comes right out. Next, you just have to pop off the headlight like that. And there we go, now we can access the bulb. So if you look at the front, the left is the high beam and these are the low beam. And the ones that go in these type of lights are 9006 for the low beam and these are H1 for the high beam. So we're gonna change out the low beam. Also, this size works for the stock lights as well. I'm not sure about any other headlights, but I know for sure the stock and these take the 9006 for the low beam. So you just twist your old one out, disconnect it from the clip here. So these, you just match up the holes to the original, push it down and then twist it to the right that way. And then it locks into place and then you just connect it here. And then on these LED lights, you gotta make sure um, sometimes they're polarity sensitive. So if it doesn't work one way, twist it around and then try the other side. Okay, so it's in, it's on. This one actually looks like, I put my hand out like that since it's not dark yet. And it looks like this one has a cleaner cutoff line than the other bulbs that I have over here. You see the middle right there compared to this bulb over here. These look like they have a better cut off line. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue installing it on the other side and then we'll test it out at night and make sure they're bright. So this is a side-by-side -side comparison of the ones that I had before. Look how small that fan is compared to this one. But look at the LEDs, they are different. All right, so we got both lights in. Now we just have to wait till it gets dark. Okay, so this is with my iPhone footage and look how bright the lights are. They actually light up. I need to point them down a little bit, but I mean, you can see the big difference. Okay, so I'm recording in wide angle, so it's darker compared to this angle. Now we guys can see the difference of the lights. And I, this is where I've tested other lights before. So let's see how bright they are. It's my daytime running lights. That's the headlights. As you can tell, they're way brighter than the lights I had before. That's, it's crazy how much I could see on these. I do need to point them down a little bit, but look at that difference like you can actually see and this is the bad camera on the iphone it's like the worst in low light so i mean if i put it on this one you can see how much brighter it is wow that's crazy and this these lights actually point out more on the sides the other lights i had didn't really light up the sides as much i will put the video of the other lights that i had compared to these these right here are the old bulbs these are definitely the winners. So uh, like I said, I'll have them linked down below. I really do recommend these. These are really bright. As you can tell, the lights are way brighter than my old light. I did use an iPhone 7 on the old video compared to now with the iPhone 12. So it does make a little bit of difference in the low light, which is why I use the wide angle. It's not as great in low light. I just want to be you know, transparent with you guys and show you exactly how bright they are. Way brighter than my old lights. So I am a big fan of these LED lights and they are affordable. So anyone can buy these, I think. But what I want to do for you guys, we did hit 6K. So I want to thank each and every one of you who has subscribed. That's awesome. I can't believe we made it this far. So I want to give away some LED bulbs. So there is going to be only one winner for the LED bulbs. Uh, but I, I don't know, do you guys want to do some merch in the giveaway as well? Like second place gets a shirt or something. Let me know in the comments down below. The giveaway is going to start today when the video is posted. It's only gonna last a week from the video upload today. Go on my Instagram, Najar Offroad. I'll have a post on there for the LED lights. Just uh, follow the steps, it should be easy. Just comment, tag a couple friends. That's it, that's all you have to do. So yeah, if you wanna answer the giveaway, hit up my Instagram, NajarOffroad.com. Check out this dope hat that I made too. It's like a tribute hat, you know, to Metallica. So Najar Offroad. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.